hello and welcome to my channel this is Faisal in today's video we'll be exploring an advanced level uh, Linux command for AWS SV sync basically the uh, command is AWS SV sync and we will be using this command on CentOS operating system if you are looking to automate the synchronization of data between SV buckets then this video is for you so let's move uh, to the introduction of uh, all the step one. What are we going to do in step one? Step one will be uh, the introduction to the command AWS SD. So uh, let me tell you one thing here. I'm uh, totally going to use chat GPT for everything for uh, for, for the documentation for the um, like uh, what is this command so I'll do any everything on on the chat GPT I'll ask chat GPT to tell me uh, what is this command for uh, what is the purpose of this command uh, how we use this command or how we use uh, that sort of any command and then we and then uh, we use uh, our chat GPT uh to create that command for us and after that we need a deployment model for that command as well on the CentOS operating system and after that we'll have to configure a cron job and definitely we'll ask chat gpt to tell us or uh, write us the script or command for the cron job as well and at which time we need to run that command so after that in step five we'll we'll be creating a setting or we'll be creating a, a notification system which will notify uh, at the end of the successful completion or uh, execution of this command via the email so let's start so uh, the first step is the introduction of aws s3 sync command so i'm i'm uh, asking chat gpt to give me the idea what is uh, actually introduction to AWS S3 sync command so let's see so here you go it's giving you a very detailed description of the command and uh, telling you what it is S3 is a highly scalable cloud based storage service and uh, it provides a simple web interface that allows you to store obviously it's a storage service and we know that so one of the powerful features of s3 is its ability to sync data between so uh, this it's, it's telling me like uh, this command is uh, for the uh, is is the uh, it is used to sync data between local storage and s3 buckets s3 sync command we use s3 sync command to sync data from our local bucket, a local hard drive, or local uh, directory to S3 bucket. So this is a very useful command for creating backups on daily basis or on weekly basis, whatever the method you apply to it. So let's let's move towards the step two, which is. Uh, Creating the AWS sync command using chat GPT. Create. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to tell Ch uh, chat GPT that create a command. Or we can simply say that create the AWS S3 sync command. Okay, so let's see what chat gpt gives us so i'm i'm a daily user of this command and i'm really uh, i'm surprised that it is uh, chat gpt is giving me the 100 percent accurate command so it not only gives me the the only command which is used to this is this is the actually command so uh prerequisites of using this command is to you you must have uh, configured the AWS S3 configuration, done the configuration part of the AWS S3, 
and uh, this is the local local folder path so for example usually uh, the backups are stored in where spool backup uh, whatever the location is you can use that location and uh, after that this is the s3 then the bucket name and that's it so this is the whole command which we use to actually back up our files to the s3 bucket so in the next one it's it's actually saying the local one it's explaining what to do how to use this command so i'm, I'm not going to look for the extra command because this this is to delete this will delete any files in the so i don't want to delete so actually we are not using these commands okay so we'll move towards the step three which is uh, now deployment of that aws s3 command on centos so i don't know how to deploy this command or how to use that command on uh, centos please tell me step three please tell me steps to use that command on the CentOS OS. So let's see what happened now. Okay, so uh, this, these, these are the these are the whole steps because you cannot use this command without uh, configuring the AWS. After that, you can use this command. So, and uh, let me uh, use a temporary bucket name, which is, uh, I can say, use the bucket name as backup and local path. So uh, now you can see uh, we are actually using a real uh, use case here. So where school backup is the uh, place where we usually have the backup, the default backup location. And then we have a bucket name with the backup on S3 and it will transfer all the files or sync all the files from where school backup to the backup bucket. So the next phase is now how can we ask ChatGPT to create a notification system for us so we'll set up a notification system uh, to to receive alerts each time the command runs and this will help us keep track of the command execution and troubleshoot any issues that may arise ask ChatGPT to set up write me a cron job as i want this command to run daily on 23 23 uh, 00 EFT time so uh, let's see what it comes up with so open your terminal and front tab minus e uh, this is the uh, way where we can edit that front tab file i also want to get notified when this Chrome is executed successfully or failed at email address person and create example dot com okay so let's see so let's see what it is doing and I don't know what it is doing let let's see so, ChatGPT is finished. Let's see. This is uh, the first 
commands like uh, we have to actually enter into the phone tab editing mode and then we can uh, use this this is actually zero minute 23 hour and on daily basis and this is the font which we created and what it is doing here it's dumping that command to uh, do a var log s3 underscore sync dot log and uh, what it is saying that do greater than and percent one part ensures that both standard output and standard error are directed to the log file so this is good okay nano home user names and it's actually creating a bash script file or shell script file this is something good but i actually uh, frankly speaking i don't like this i want it to be a one-liner and uh, i don't want to engage in any uh, sort of scripts so i want it to be a one-liner and simply that's it so let's regenerate and see what what it will do so uh what i think is this time it's actually created a single command and that's what actually i want so doing it's creating the backup and uh, echoing uh s3 command as you could do successfully and uh it's doing aws s sync status echo mail one s okay so so let's uh copy this command and try to test this command okay okay what we do is uh, we need to do clone tab minus e you can actually test this command as well before we make any change to this command so from here uh, from ego to at the end of the command you can simply use this here you go so this is the way that you can test this command echo s3 sync command executed successfully mail minus s so I, I actually use the dummy mail addresses this is it and you can simply go to clone tab minus e and enter that command so here we go and just you just ne simply need to save it that's it you, you don't need to do anything else so if you want to check that uh clone tab is created or not let's see clone tab minus l and you can see that the command is there and it will run on daily basis at 23 pm basically so so overall this video will uh, provide you with a comprehensive guide to creating deploying and testing an advanced level linux command for aws s3 using centos or on the centos operating system so we hope you find this video helpful and informative don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more linux and aws content and let us know your thoughts in the comment section below Thank you for watching. Take care. Bye.